barbershop conversation, guys, feel free to hit the subscribe button. So I just, uh, I'm running around the house with the kids listening on my headset to the Charlos. And they said Petty Hearn has some wash up. But before I get into that, I want to tell the Charlos. Dude, y'all are so big on fashion. Here's what you need to do. You need to get a young, up-and-coming uh, designer, fashion designer that has his own label. Y'all strike a percentage, and they design everything that you wear. They can design everything from the things you're wearing now that has the labels on it. And you can be owner. Every time I see you guys, you guys got at least five to $10,000 worth of clothes on. I'm not even counting the jewelry. You know, I was once a young kid that spent a lot of money on a whole bunch of clothes, but now I'm I'm into about creating assets and creating wealth and turning um, and trying to turn, even if it's a small opportunity, you understand? But I think that you need to sign a deal with a designer company through perpetuity. Send this to the Charlos. I don't have their personal number, but uh, send this to the Charlos if you can. But I think it'll be a genius idea as opposed to spending three thousand dollars on some shoes and what have you. But anyways, he called Eddie Hearn washed up every fighter. He got how many L's they got washed up fighters. And he makes a great point. It's basically what we've been alluding to. That's the kids playing upstairs. Uh, I'm about to head upstairs real quick. I just want to do this video real quick um, in terms of um, who can they go over there and fight. And at the end of the day, I tell you guys this. Remember my first four or five videos I did breaking down the zone about how you can win with the zone. I, I I broke it down for you guys as eloquently as I can. And if if the Charlos abide by this, by what I said in those videos, they will become wealthy, they will become successful, and they will still be independent brokers, independent entrepreneurs running their own career. So uh, feel free to go to those videos in the past. I, I did those guys. I did those videos in July, August, somewhere in there in the early stages of, of, of the, the Zone app. But um, like I always tell you, I like the Charlos. They're just engaging. Um, you don't know what they're going to do, what they're going to say. You know, even when I feel I have like, an, if there's 10 layers in a in a circle, I feel like, I'm in the ninth layer, so I'm still like eight layers away. I know I'm not 10. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not close to them, but they'll stop and respect my camera, per se. And uh, I just enjoy listening to them, man. You understand? And I can, once I ask my throwaway question, I believe I can ask them anything I want in any tone, in any way. You understand? Um, um, and honestly, I believe that they respect that because they always tell me I'm starting some shit. And um, but but I think they can capitalize their sense of fashion. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of uh, young fashion designers. Uh, I, I, one Jamel lives in Hollywood. Jamal lives in Houston. So I mean, between those two cities, I'm sure they can find a young fashion designer that can take their appearance to the next level, and they own a, a part of the line. Um, but uh, but yeah, man. Eddie Hearn, for the most part, has washed up fighters, um, washed up fighters in comparison to young ascending fighters. I'm not going to sit here and say those fighters are washed up. I'm talking about in comparison. Um, but um, Eddie Hearn is going to have to release the hounds. And what I mean by that is open up the checkbook. He says he has the money. Open up the checkbook and pay these guys if they decide to go over. Uh, and no one, this is just my humble opinion. No fighter will sign over a two fight deal with the zone. I, I just know that you understand you go there, you, you, you say they have a lot of money and that has yet to be proven. You understand? Because <laughs> people think that, uh, Canelo deal is a huge deal. It's a huge deal numbers wise. However, it's not a huge deal in comparison to being what he would have got at HBO. It's, it's pretty on par. It's pretty, it, it just looks like it because it's, it's a lump, it, they lumped it up as a PR move. But if Canelo's getting $30 million per fight, that's pretty uh, normal 
comparatively to HBO, to the numbers that they say he was getting on HBO if he's selling out and doing a million pay-per-view buys. So at the end of the day, it sounds astronomical and people are going to believe it as such because they just see the 365 million, but they don't see it's only, uh, only in comparison to what they said they was making. $30 million is what I want to achieve by the time I'm 50, between 30, 20 and $30 million I want my net worth to be. And, um, but I think that, uh, uh, I shouldn't put a cap on it, right? You're right. Uh, but what I will say is this. Eddie Hearn's going to have to step up and start uh, unloading that Brinks truck that he says he has. We don't know it to be true. He hasn't paid anyone yet. He hasn't paid anyone. The numbers that he say he can pay. If he say he can pay the Charlos, pay the Charlos. He say he's going to overpay. He say he's going to win purse bids. We haven't seen either of the two happen yet. So these are questions that you really, really need to ask yourself. What's going on? Is it for real? Where are we at? How are we doing? Et cetera, et cetera. But because he has the complexion for the protection, that's my Dante Boxing Nation quote, uh, he gets a pass. But if I went out there and said, I can pay you guys and I don't come through, Butch Lewis, you guys will rag me. So barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.